Look at that. Yeah. It's so awesome. These cold still roads are all we'll ever find. And memories made from trails we left behind along the way. I know these roads will lead us home. The tide is rising, huh? All righty, thank you. Well, look at this. The tide is high. Oh, no. Yeah. The thing is that it rained yesterday, so, you know, everything is going to be kind of, uh, kind of uh, uh, steady out here, I would imagine, where the sand is not going to be loose. So that's a good thing. I'm even wondering if it's even worth lowering my tire pressure at this point because the sand is so compact. I don't even think that's a thing right now. I'm, I'm not gonna do that. I'm probably not even bother doing that today. Uh, I've gotta tell you, you know, that this is a little special trip. Um, came out of my little slumber of not shooting any video uh, for a while because I've been very w busy with work projects and uh, just a bunch of uh, other things that I have been able to take care of. Uh, so finally we got a chance to come out here on this very special day. I'm here with my wife, Cassie. Hi. All right. And uh, it's our anniversary. It's our wedding anniversary. We had a whole thing planned out where we're supposed to be going out of town you know, to some exotic sweet place for a whole week. And that got canceled out because of work stuff. It is also the solar eclipse day today. So I want to get out here, go as far as I can. Hopefully we can make it to the East Cut and hopefully we'll be able to uh, document how the solar eclipse impacts uh, the South Padre Island wildlife or how it impacts you know the area over here as you can see it is horrible man it is so hazy it's overcast it's really nasty so definitely not ideal to uh view the eclipse well stopped right here by the ufo with sandy i kind of changed my mind and I will be lowering the tire pressure because I know that I know that the tide is going to be coming in and uh, there are some softer areas over here. And I'm also thinking about the possibility of getting a puncture out here. So it's just best to play it safe. And that's what I'm going to be doing. Hey friends, here I am with wifey Cassie over here and it's around 1230 today. It's a Monday, April 8th. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we are by the East Cut. We made it to the East Cut. All right. And unfortunately it's, I'm, I'm sure this is going to be of no surprise to anyone that came out to the solar eclipse. Probably a little disappointed with the overcast skies, but we're still going to try to see how it impacts this area and uh, just what kind of a difference it makes. Um, I can tell you that there's almost zero wind, which is kind of rare out here. Okay, there's usually a nice breeze and it's like 75 degrees, kind of muggy, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel that bad. I don't know, maybe it's because of the shade that we're getting from the skies. But anyway, I wanted to tell you a little bit about how we're going to be taking a look at the solar eclipse even though it's being covered i'm sure we still have to take the necessary precautions and cassie cassie is an optometrist she's an actual eye doctor 
and uh, she is an expert with eyes, over 25 years of experience. Honey, what did you do to get us prepared to view the solar eclipse? So there's different eclipse classes. As long as they have the certification ISO 12312-2 from the ISO, which is the International Organization for Standardization, those are fine for viewing the sun during the eclipse. So you have the paper, the ones with the paper, those are fine. Uh, you also have a filter. If you want to take photos with your phone, you can use this. And then there's also glasses that are like regular sunglasses and they, um, they can be worn like regular sunglasses. And so those are the options, but as long as they have the ISO certification, it's fine to, to try to view the eclipse. Okay, and uh, I'm also, I have my camera set up over there to see, I don't know if it's gonna capture anything. I can't even see where the sun's at right now. It's so bad right now. I mean, everything is covered. It's all dark. Well, maybe there, I don't know. I mean, it's just a little patch there, but it is really not ideal, I'm sure, <laughs> to view the solar eclipse, but hey, we're still out here. It'd be interesting as to uh, see how the birds react. You know, I, I see, still see pelicans out here and some seagulls. Um, I've seen some dolphins out here as well. But, uh, and the tides are kind of like normal. I know the incoming high tide is coming in in a little bit. And, uh, but I just want to see, you know, perhaps, you know, how much of a difference it makes. There's only a few people out here. I can count them, one, two, three, four, five, about five, six folks that came out here to enjoy the area, just like we did. And uh, they did the smart thing, came out here on a Monday when it's really slow and, you know, everything is tranquil, you know. So anyway, you know, I can't wait uh, to put this whole thing together and uh, let's hope that we get some sort of miracle break in the sky and we can see uh, the solar eclipse a little bit better. So this is the photo filter that I'm gonna try out um, to see if I can, if it makes an appearance, I doubt the way it looks. This is the part that goes to, towards the sun and this is the part that goes to the camera and just so you get an idea of how much it covers, yeah, it covers it didn't work and it didn't work. Cool climb. There will be cool video material. You can't see anything. I already tried with my glasses and darkness is all I see. Okay guys, so looks like it's happening right now, but the cloud cover is really messing with it. And uh, oh, you got part of it there. That's good. Uh, make sure you wear your glasses. That was with my gla with, <laughs> with your glasses. With the glasses. All right, awesome. Without that filter. Yeah, it was just hard, you know, to kind of tell. Oh yeah, I got it. I see it. Oh, I can see it. Yeah. That's see that a little about, crescent. That's about ninety percent. Yeah. That is so cool. Oh oh wow yeah. That is really awesome. neat. Look at that. Oh, look. Yeah. A flare, like a, a corona. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, man, Ooh. that is so cool. Well, it wasn't a total nothing burger. Let me see. I don't see it anymore. So apparently, yeah, it's coming in and out, guys, but it is happening. Uh, pretty neat, man, that we're able to at least see it partially. Look at that. Yeah. It's so awesome. That's so cool, babe. <laughs> were you able to take a picture with your... Yeah, well... The with one, the filter? Did you use the filter? No, the filter don't work. Oh, okay. No. All right. Picture without the filter was better. Yeah. With these. Yeah. Well, I could still see it. Wow, look at that. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Ah, come on. I 
I set up a couple of cameras to record a time lapse during this time, but I didn't see anything significant. I didn't notice anything strange or particular with the birds either, but then again, I'm no expert, and all I could do is document whatever the cameras captured. So wifey and I are over here. She's still looking at it. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. She was a little disappointed in me because I'm like, this is a big nothing burger. I'm like, I don't know what I, she's like, well, what were you expecting? I don't know what I was expecting. I, I was expecting cool stuff. I don't know. We saw the 90%. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Do better, Solar Eclipse. <laughs> it was good. It was good. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was good. Parece que ya no sé lo que te amas. Cada vez que te me acerco, tú me llamas. Dime lo que ves en mi cara. Cada vez que me sonríes, tú me hablas, baby. Quiero, quiero siempre verte, sentirte cerca y tenerte. Quiero, quiero, quiero más de ti. So we wrapped up, heading back to the entrance, take care of, do some other fun beach stuff, activities. Uh, honey, what did you think about the eclipse? I liked it. We actually saw the 90% and a little bit of the corona did come out for us. I thought it was pretty cool. I got one good, kind of good picture. Yeah, but. she's, you're, you're much more of an optimist than I am. I. I I thought it was uh, kind of a, like I said, a nothing burger. I, I don't know. You're like, well, what did you expect? I, I don't know. I wanted action. I wanted something cool to happen. Uh, I remember when I was a child and I, I saw the one, the partial one back then, and it seemed to be more dramatic than this. At least as a kid, I remember more things happening, like, you know, the the kind of like the crescent shaped shadows because we were not at a 100% no. back back, back in no. the day. What was it, 79? Something like, it yeah. was 79. I was like eight or I mean, nine years old maybe, you know, something like that. And um, anyway, I, I just, I don't know. I, it was still fun, you know, I, I guess I was expecting more stuff. Still, we had a wonderful time Hadn't been out here in a long time, um, like I said, due to a bunch of other things that are beyond my control. Um, we are doing well. We do want to come back out here more often, uh, bring you more content. That is the that that is those are our intentions, um, and uh, to even put that opus, you know, uh, back to work. That would be nice, you know. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for subscribing, for watching this content, uh, for liking our stuff. Uh, really appreciate everyone out there. Uh, get up, get out, do something.